It was the day before Thanksgiving. In her l- kitchen, pretty little Margaret Lane was preparing Thanksgiving dinner. The first one in her pretty home over which she had come to preside but a short six months before. The turkey was already in the baker and her nimble fingers were busy fashioning a p- plum pudum- pudding. Her heart was so light that almost un- unconsciously she burst into a song. The room was small and the day warm, so she had left the p- door partly open and her sweet voice floated out into the street. A man pa- passing by paused to listen. When you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one, count your blessings, be what God has done, count your blessings. The man passed on, but the words seemed to ring in his ears. A cynical smile curled his lips. Count my blessings indeed, he muttered. I wonder what they are. I presume that sweet little singer back there would say my wealth, but it has never brought me one happy moment, not one. Then some way, it seemed his... It seemed to him that the pages of his life swept back, and he saw again a fair face bend above him, a face so pure it might have been an angel's. His whole life had been softened by her influence. Surely he must count the memory of a Christian mother among his blessings. There is another, too. Way back in his younger day, he had a wife and a tiny daughter nestled in his arms, but not for long. God took them from the sorrow here to the joy over there. Yet the happiness of those short months was very dear to him. His face grew thoughtful. Was it not a blessing to have such treasures of heaven? Tears came to his eyes that had long been strangers to them, as the meaning of the song seemed to be brought home to him. And he said, I will arise and go to my father. Then Margaret sang on. Are you ever burdened with the Lord of care? Does the cross seem heavy? The woman across the street, street shut the door with a slam. Little she knows about it. Wait until she has to work as I do. Then she won't have time to sing or count her blessings either. But the words of the song were with her. Burden she surely was, for her health was not very good, and there were three little ones to do, to do for. And yet count your blessings, name them one by one. The words came to her in spite of the closed door, and she smiled grimly as she thought, Well, Tom is well and has plenty of work. That is one, I suppose, and does not spend and does not spend his money for strong drink as some do. Then our home is paid for, and children are well and, and our children are well and good to help me. A look of surprise came over her face, and she wondered if there was so much for her to be thankful for after all. The words of the song held a new meaning for her as she found herself trying to hum the air as she went about her many tasks. When you look at others with their and gold, think that Christ has promised you his wealth untold. Count your many blessings money cannot buy. Your reward in heaven or your home on high. A young girl heard the words as she hurried to school. I believe I needed just those words to set me right, she thought. I'm afraid I was envious this morning because Mabel had such a beautiful new suit, and I must wear my old one. I was cross about it, too, and it will worry Mama, for she is doing all she can for me, and her face paled as she thought. Mabel has no Mama. I am sure she would be willing to wear old clothes if she only had her dear mother to share it. I will never worry her again, and I will tell her so at noon. And she passed on into the schoolroom. So amid the conflict, whether great or small, do not be discouraged, God is over all. Count your many blessings, angels will attend. Help and comfort, give you tell your journey's end. 
it will not be old, mumbled an old woman as she toiled past. The end is not far off. My greatest blessings is that it is so. I am, was feeling discouraged this morning to think my master kept me waiting so long, but he knows best. He will help me and comfort me till the end. I am glad I heard that singer. God bless her. The pudding was finished, and so was the song. And Margaret, with a high heart, began putting the little kitchen to right, not knowing that while she sang, four souls had been brought near to their maker, and that on that, and that on the morrow each would return thanks for the blessings overlooked in the hurry of the world, until a song heard by chance set them right. Or was it really chance, or a part of God's divining plan? Of God's divine plan, who can say? Count your blessings, be them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has.